Hey y'all, I'm Amanda from Dixie Delights, and for today's Daily Delight, I am going to share with you my two favorite ways to tie a bow on top of a present. So first things first, um, you have to start with your wrapped gift, and I don't really have any tips on this other than to use a good quality wrapping paper. I think that makes all the difference. <laughs> I love the wrapping paper at Hobby Lobby. It is um, on 50% off sale pretty much from Halloween straight through New Year's. And it's a nice thick quality and um, great patterns that often color coordinate together. And um, on the underside, it has the great cutting grid. So you can make sure you're using just the right amount of wrapping paper and getting it cut in straight lines, all which make the wrapping process easier. The next thing that you need for wrapping the perfect present is a nice ribbon. Now, I use traditional Christmas colors all throughout my Christmas decor, and I also love to wrap my gifts that way. So today I'm gonna use two different types of ribbons. Uh, one of them is a red grosgrain. The other is a double face satin ribbon. Now, this is my very, very favorite to use. It's so beautiful, and you really just cannot beat this at Christmas time. The last thing that you need are some cute gift tags or stickers, and I have mine here. They are from the Dixie Delights shop. Um, this is the tartan plaid with the initial on it, and I just think having a nice personalized tag to go on the top of your gift really makes it special. So let's get started with tying the bows. On the first gift, I am going to use the grosgrain ribbon and just show you how I tie a basic bow. This grosgrain ribbon is really thick and it has a great body in it. Um, and one little tip, I've already cut my piece here, but one tip for getting the right amount of ribbon is I kind of take the point of the package where I'm gonna tie the ribbon around and I say, okay, one, two, and then I double it. The first thing that I'm going to do is to center my ribbon by matching up the ends on my package. Then I'm going to tie a basic half knot just like you do when tying your shoes, like so. You pull it nice and tight. Now the key to getting a great bow is to start with your bottom tail. So you'll have one at the top and one at the bottom. You want to make your first loop with the tail on the bottom. And then you take your top and you wrap it over, just like you would do when tying your shoes. Wrap it over and then push it through to make your other loop. Pull it tight. Now, you do have to do some finessing to get a great bow. So I like to just pull it through a little, like this, and then nice and tight, put my fingers through both of the loops and really give it a tug. And you can pull them out and then pull them tight multiple times until you get the perfect bow with a perfect tight center. And you can see just how nice this ribbon is holding its shape. And then you want to take any little pieces, straighten them out. And then on your two tails down here, you can cut them either on the diagonal or in a notch. For these, I'll just cut them on the diagonal. Always start with your shorter one, so you know just how short to make it, and then match it with the other one. And you have a great, professional, really nice looking bow. When I have a square package, I love to put a Tiffany style bow on that. It's great to use a double face satin ribbon for this. That way you don't have to be so concerned about which way you're folding the ribbon and which side is going to show. So in order to figure out how much you need of this one, you do the same sort of process, except for you wanna measure three lengths. So you do one, two, three and then you double that amount. So to get started on this type of bow, you wanna turn your package upside down. So this is the right side. You turn it upside down and centered on the ribbon. Then you take both of your tails up at the top, lay them across your package like this, and then twist them. 
in the middle. Holding this tight, you flip your package back over and pull your ribbons tight. Now what you wanna do is make your basic half knot like so. Now one thing that's a little tricky to keep this um, bow nice and tight is kind of move your half knot over and take this bottom tail and slip it underneath the flat piece of ribbon on the top. There, okay, can you see it coming together? Now what you wanna do is the same sort of bow that we tied on the first package. Use your bottom tail to make your first loop and then pulling it tight, use your top piece to fold it over and then pull it through. So now you do just a little bit of work to make your, your two loops the same length and that might require loosening it up a bit and then re-tightening it just like this until it's perfect. So for this one, rather than cutting my two tails on the diagonal, I'm gonna notch them. And the way that you do that is you fold your ribbon in half, kind of measure out towards the edge of your package, and then you simply snip it on the diagonal. Two. There you have it, a beautiful Tiffany style bow. So the very last thing that I do is take my gift tag and a piece of tape, and then I just loop the tape around, stick it to itself. You can also use double-sided tape, and tuck my little gift tag right onto the top of the package. I hope that you enjoy today's daily delight and I hope that you have a delightful day and a wonderful Christmas season.